A police operation gets underway in the Alamo favela in Rio. They happen almost daily and they're always violent. This is the Core unit, the police special forces, and they're after a shipment of drugs, a big shipment. In Rio, the drug gangs are ruthless and well armed. And the firefights between the security services and the gangs are intense. There are lots of people living here, but that doesn't do anything to lessen the fighting. This is a housing estate in the middle of the day. Anyone on the street simply has to find safety on their own or risk getting caught in the crossfire. The police are after a shipment of marijuana from Paraguay. Two armoured trucks are sent in to drag out a lorry. Officers put down fire as it's pulled away. This was a successful day. On board, two tons of marijuana, worth about a million dollars. The thing is, another is already on the way. The level of violence being seen in the favelas is what's concerning people. The police operations are continuous and often deadly, but nothing much seems to change. The poorest in society live here and they are predominantly black. They feel like they are the enemy in their own country. Every day this year, more than five people have been killed in Rio State by the police. Most of those killings happen here in the favelas, which are controlled by the drug gangs. The question isn't so much about the fact that they are shooting and killing gang members. The point is that so many innocent people are getting caught up in the crossfire. <laughs> Martial arts students form a line to pay their respects. Andrea Rios hasn't been to this charity-funded martial arts project in the Alamo favela for over a month. She isn't from here, and nor was her husband. There were volunteers helping deprived kids. Jean was coming to teach jiu-jitsu when he was shot dead by police in a raid. He wasn't armed, and he was crouching. There is no investigation into his killing. Vou perguntar o porquê que fizeram isso. Confundiram o porquê. Porque ele era negro, porque ele estava sem luz, porque ele estava na entrada de uma comunidade. Não é atirar e depois perguntar. É ao contrário. Então é complicado. The battle against organized crime, or narco-terrorism as they call it here, is one of the central pillars of the government of Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro. He has a willing lieutenant in the form of the governor of Rio. We joined a ceremony for new motorbikes and trucks being assigned to the police. The governor is adamant that despite criticism of the police, the tactics are necessary. Hoje, o noticiário mostra né, que todas essas ações estão acontecendo de uma forma mais explícita exatamente que nós estamos combatendo. E se o senhor olhar os índices de criminalidade, vai ver que desde o início do nosso governo, eles vêm sendo reduzidos é, substancialmente, especialmente os homicídios. The numbers of people being killed by the police in Rio's favelas is at record levels, but the gangs are still operating. The no-nonsense tactics are popular amongst voters who don't live here. The innocent people who do take a different view. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Rio de Janeiro.